we've got students from six of our schools coming together to talk about one of the most important issues that there is, how we feed ourselves. We've brought them to London to attend the GSF conference and do all sorts of other challenging and exciting activities. I will be attending the Global Student Forum of 2012 next week. I think everyone will learn from this. I'm expecting fantastic debates. First of all, we went to the House of Parliament. Like, anything there was to see, I had to take a picture of it. I never saw London from this perspective before. So to go to very privileged parts of Westminster Abbey, to see the House of Commons and the House of Lords was something I didn't actually ever expect to do in my lifetime. It's been fantastic for them to get an idea of what university life will be like. I never knew what a dorm was like before. I always thought that it was going to be a bit bigger. <laughs> We're here doing a group project to try to paint this over here. The finished picture was really nice. I thought it was like unique, you know? GSF is a, a particularly exciting event for us. They get this fantastic opportunity to, to meet really key people who work in overseas development and be part of a major conference. I think it's going to be interesting to see the view of the professionals. I think I'll learn a lot. Morning and welcome. What is your dream? We believe that given the right opportunity and the right resources and the right support, six formers can change the world. I've heard a lot of ideas and new ways to see this world and the current situation it's in. The conference was amazing. There was such a wide range of people speaking. I think they were quite surprised at the standard and level of debate and the passion shown. They've had their minds open to a lot of new ideas on this topic of hunger. I do feel that young people can make a difference. I really feel aware that the global hunger is a complex problem that we can fight. It's not as simple as we think. Now I realise like, how important it is and I'm not going to be ignorant. That's part of the essence of Global Classroom, is it makes you think as an individual and it challenges your thinking. This morning we went to the World Overseas League and presented a summary of what we thought about the whole conference. We were exposed to a huge amount of information in the last day. You know you're doing something good and you're preparing for something good. If we can inspire you and support you and encourage you and help you, you can really make this world a better place. We've had a bit of additional support from Apple, who provided our students with an iPad each so they can capture their thoughts and really reflect properly. It's wonderful to see how passionate they are and how determined to make a difference when they get back to their school so that thousands of other North Anglia education students are going to benefit. And these are some of the things we want to do following the conference. First, we're going to educate our sixth form and get them to help us in our mission. We'd like our activities to lead up to World Food Day and World Hunger Day. We're going to organise a hunger-based treasure hunt. We're going to speak to the school canteen about incorporating fair trade food into our school dinners. We would like to organise an assembly in our schools and also other schools in our area. It's been a great opportunity for those of them that have been on the Global Classroom already to actually see people for real. I am more open to other people's opinion and to accept them if I'm wrong. It was so enlightening in many ways. So this is about student leadership made real, that every student in their school becomes somebody who cares passionately about the question of global hunger. There's so much we can do, but it has to start on our level. We have to make a difference. Merci, au revoir.